Good day teachers. In this video I'm going to show you the process of how to create a Pear Deck in slides starting from scratch. So here's a slides presentation with some math problems on it. Basically I just started with um, a list of five problems, your typical worksheet type thing, and I took those problems and pasted them individually onto slides. Um, I added a title slide and I supplemented with maybe a couple of story problems to try and get the kids to um, share some reasoning or some whys. And uh, the rest of it is just basically those problems off of that worksheet copied onto this slideshow. So that's where we're going to start. First thing that you need to do is get the Pear Deck add-on. Go to add-ons. If you do not have it, you're going to go down to get add-ons. If you do have the Pear Deck add-on installed, go right over to it and open the Pear Deck add-on. Once you launch the add-on, you'll notice that it appears over here in a side panel. Um, and make sure you notice this little gray bar because there is lots of stuff down a little bit further. But the first thing that I want to point out to you is that they have built a lot of interactive slides that are just basically ready for you to use. So for example, at the beginning of our lesson, we might want to choose one of these pre-made slides that um, our questions set, uh, already created that'll help your lesson get off to a good start. So for example, this one, draw two things that you already know about today's topic. Um, what did you learn from last night's homework? Let's pick that one. Once you click it, you can see that it will open up and I'll show you that it is inserting that into your slideshow and you see that fell right between my title slide and my first uh, first question. And this little gray bar here shows me that um, this is a written response and that it'll, it's an interactive slide. So let's go on to the first slide in our slideshow. So this is a rounding question and I think we just probably want the students to be able to type or write their answers onto their screen. So I'm going to go back to the opening of the sidebar template here and go down to the bottom and here are those um, all the different types of interactive slides that you can use in a Pear Deck. And so we want this to be a drawing slide, so I'm going to choose Draw. And it's going to turn my slide into a drawing slide. And my gray bar has appeared, and this one is ready to present and be interactive. Next slide down, um, I'd like this one to be a draggable, so the students can drag a dot to the answer of their choice. So I'm going to choose that. And this gives me a preview of my items. Now notice that I can have multiple dots and multiple colors in my menu here. I can also choose different kinds and styles of things that I want to drag around the screen. There are numbers. There are little icons that you can drag around the screen. I'm going to stick with the dot here, and I really just need one dot. And this bar right here lets you change the size of the dot. Right now it's kind of a little large. So I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller so they'll all fit on the screen together. And so then we just click update the slide and that one will be ready to go. For this question, I once again want the students to be able to write or draw on the slide. So I'm going to make this one a drawing slide. And that one's all set. Um, for this slide, let's uh, ask the students to come up with a single answer. So let's go ahead and choose number slide for this. And basically, it limits the students to simply typing in a numerical answer. And that one's ready. And let's make this one a multiple choice question. What is the answer to a multiplication problem called? So we're going to go over here and choose, choose choice. Okay, so now let's go ahead and type the responses that the students will be able to choose from on their screens. So, and let's add one more choice. And then update the slide. And now you won't be able to see those four choices until um, until you're looking at the dashboard and actually giving the uh, presentation, but they are down here in the notes, so you can see them 
down here in your slideshow. And then our last slide, um, let's just have the students write the answer to that question. So let's make it a drawing slide. Once we've created this slide and made it interactive, there we go. Um, we might want to go and add something that is at um, a response at the end of a lesson. Um, maybe circle how you're feeling. That's a nice one. Let's choose that one. And that'll be inserted right at the end of our lesson. And once your interactive Pear Deck is created, you are ready to present it. Now, when you are trying to use Pear Deck interactively, you're going to use this green button, not your normal presentation button over here, but this green button that says present with Pear Deck. And it's going to launch it and throw the image um, up onto your presentation screen in your classroom and you can see it's created that join code. Students go to joinpd.com and type in that join code and they will be in your Pear Deck. All right, and just to give you a quick idea of how these turn out, um, here's the dashboard view of that presentation that we created and we have some student responses here. So if you remember, we made this a drawing slide and you can see some students chose to type their answer and other students chose to write their answer onto the screen. Draggable slide, you can see our dots and if I hover over any dot in particular, I actually will find out whose dot that is so I can see who our outlier is there on the edge. This, you remember, we created as a drawing slide, and there are some answers typed and written in there. Here's how our multiple choice question came out. And then finally, at the end, you can see most of our students circled the happy face. You can stack these up and see a little extra drawing on the screen there. But basically, it was a pretty successful lesson. And uh, that is what you need to know how to do to um, present your first Pear Deck. If you have any questions, see your ITRT.